it's uh, Saturday here at the tiny house, and we had a it was a long week of work this week, so I didn't really feel like hanging tongue and groove this weekend. So we're taking a little break from working on the tiny house. We're just gonna do do a couple little projects that I've had in mind, and one of those projects that I've had in mind for a while is a way to hang my cast iron pans. So what I did is I I went to the local box store and I found some parts, and what this is is a four foot long threaded galvanized water pipe steel because I want it heavy enough to hold the pans we're gonna take two a 90 degree flange on both ends of it and we'll thread these down nice and tight we're not running water through it so we don't need any thread tape or anything but we'll get these turned on as tight as we can a five and a half inch long spacer that we're going to attach to the end of that 90 and again we're going to make sure it's turned nice and tight because we don't want it to slip and then we have a floor flange all these things can be found right on the shelf so we'll turn that nice and tight there's this little leverage here so do the same to the other side the 90 degree elbow, turn it on as tight as we can, get it to line up with the other one, the extension with the floor flange, thread those down nice and tight, and make sure we get them turned nice and hard into those spots, and then we'll make the turn to line them both up. Maybe we bring it around a couple of times just to ensure that they're nice and tight. Both the upper and the lower. We'll slide it through and we'll bring it over here. So now the plan is to fasten it with Okay, so now you're probably asking yourself, well, hey, that's a pretty cool industrial looking rack, but how are you going to hang some pans on it? So, my solution to that is a bungee strap, and not the bungee strap in particular, but these hooks on the bungee strap are almost perfectly suited to hang over the pipe. Cast iron pan, hook. Got a bad end and a skinny end. Right on the rack. Pull them a little closer. So we can spread them up. So there we are. The rack is strong. It's holding all the pans. I have no worries that that's going to come down. We can spread them out or rail them as we need. We can get more or less. We have the gamut covered with three cast irons and one pot. 
So as you can see, it's industrial looking. It's definitely strong enough to hold our pans. We have a couple more cast iron pans to bring up, but we're, we don't have them here right now. There's our teapot. And you can see it's well anchored into the wall. The steel doesn't sag or move. It's very strong. Has an industrial look to it, which is kind of cool. And it mixes my wood with steel kind of nice because it's a lot of wood in this tiny house right now. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. My do-it-yourself cast iron pan rack.